creating a survey using Excel Online in Microsoft Office 365. After first logging into Microsoft Office 365 and selecting your OneDrive, select the plus new button and then select Excel Survey. You'll have to first give your survey a name and then click OK. A window will pop up in which you will go ahead and enter the parts of your survey. You'll start by entering your title again and then a short description. And then you'll start setting up your questions by clicking in the box for enter your first question here. Once you do that, you'll get an editing window and you just begin to type your question. I'm starting with first name. I don't have a question subtitle, but if I did, I would type it here. Response type, I can choose text, paragraph text, number, date, time, yes or no, or choice. In this case, I'm going to leave it as text. I can also decide whether or not my question is required, meaning that they cannot submit the survey until they answer this question. In this case, I am going to make it required. I can also add a default answer if I want them to have a specific answer choice on their survey. In this case, I won't do that. When I'm finished, I can either delete the question if I'm unhappy with it, or I can select Done to add another question. To add another question, I'll select Add New Question. In this case, I'm going to add a yes-no question. I'm going to do that by pulling down the drop-down where it says text and select yes or no. I'm going to make the default value yes, and again, I'm going to make this a required question. And then I'll select done. I'm going to add a third and final question where students will simply type in the name of their favorite show. Again, it will be required, and then when I'm finished, I'll select done. Now that I've finished my survey, I have some choices. I can either go ahead and share it right away, or if I want to preview it, I can select Save and View. In this case, I'm going to select Save and View. This shows me exactly what others will see when they click on the link for the survey that I send them. If I'm happy with the survey, I'll go ahead and share. If I'm not, I'll edit. Right now, I'm happy with the way that it looks, so I'm going to select Share Survey. Once I do this, I get a link. I can take this link and put it into a Word document, or I can put it into an Outlook email message and send it to people that I want to have complete the survey. When I've finished and I no longer want people to see the survey, I can hit the Share button and come in to select Stop Sharing. In this case, I'm going to just hit Close because I want to share that survey. As people get the link and begin to answer my questions, I'll start to see information populating in my Excel spreadsheet that's attached to my survey. I can also come up to Survey under the Home tab, and I can either view the survey as others would see it, I can edit it and make changes, I can delete it, or if I need to share it with additional people, I can hit Share again and get the link. Thank you.